Hi everyone, I am Ahmad Gad from PTEC. In this lecture, I will start to talking about one of the very important part in uh, many if, uh, equivalence exams all over the world, which is the pharmaceutical calculation. Many exams contain many types of calculation problems uh, which make uh, some troubles for us some uh, headache for us so in this lecture I will show some types of uh, calculation problems which is dilution and mixing and show how to deal with uh, those problems with a simple and smart way uh, to reserve our time and to, uh, to solve those problems very easily and don't consume our times in the exam. Before we start with dilution and mixing, we should know some important basic informations and some expressions and what is the meaning of those expressions. If we know the meaning very well, it will uh, help us to solve any problem that facing us in the exam. First thing, which is the percentage and how to convert from percentage to fraction and from fraction to percentage. If we have a number with percentage like 25%, how to convert it to fraction, fraction of? The main thing is divide by 100. If we have 25%, then by dividing by 100 it will be converted to the fraction 0.25 fraction and if we have a uh, 200% by dividing by 100 then the fraction will be 2 and from fraction to percentage we multiply by 100 if we have a uh, 0.7 5 uh, fraction then it will be 75% uh, by multiplying by 100 the ratio what is the meaning of some expressions of ratio if we have uh, an expressions like uh, weight per weight weight per volume volume per volume and what that means if you have weight per weight it means 1 gram of solute is dissolved in 100 grams of solvent we must know very well the units here here the unit of weight by grams and the unit of volume or weight of the solvent by also by grams so if we have 1% volume uh, weight per weight that's mean 1 gram of solute dissolved in 100 grams of solvent the other expression weight per volume which is the most common one and most common expression in uh, many problems the weight per volume weight per volume here means one gram of solute is dissolved in 100 milliliters of solvent so any expression like 0.2 percent weight per volume or one percent weight per volume here the unit of the weight by of uh, of the solute is by grams not by milligrams it's very important to take care about this and the solvent unit is milliliter not liter 100 milliliter the last expression is volume per volume also it means one milli of solute dissolved in 100 milli of solvent so if we have one percent volume per volume that's mean one milli of solute is dissolved in 100 milli of solvent here an example to uh, show how to deal with the meaning the example says uh, how many grams of sodium chloride 
in 5 milli of 0.2% solution here he didn't uh, say if 0.2% weight per weight or weight per volume or volume per volume if he didn't say the only expression is weight per vo volume if he didn't say or if he, he, he didn't mention the only expression is weight per volume so the meaning of 0.2 percent here is 0.2 grams per 100 milli so to calculate the grams of sodium chloride we make a, cr a, cross a crisscross 2 point, uh, 0.2 gram of solute of sodium chloride in 100 milli of the solvent or the solution we we want to calculate the 5 milli of the solution how many grams contain so here x equal 5 multiplied by 0 0.2 divided by 100 so we get the result which is 0 0.01 gram of sodium chloride another example to confirm our idea here in example 2 uh, he said the percentage weight per volume of 30 milligrams of sodium chloride in 50 milli solution is here he gives us the weight of the sodium chloride by milligrams and the volume of the solution by milli as we said before the percent weight per volume means the weight is by grams and the volume is by milliliter so we must here convert from milligram to gram to solve this problem the first step is converting from milligram to gram uh, by dividing by 1000 so 30 milligrams will be 0.03 grams so if 0.03 grams present in 50 milli of solution then 100 milli of solution will contain x milli uh, x grams which is 100 multiplied by 0.03 and divided by 50 and will be 0.06 percent so the answer here is number c in example number three another type of question he said if an injection contains 0.5 percent deltiazine hydrochloride calculate the number of milligrams of the drug in 25 milli of injection he requests here the number of milligrams but uh, the, uh, the expression percent weight per volume will give us the weight by grams so after we solve the problem we must convert from milligrams to grams or from the first we must convert the grams of 0.5% uh, to milligrams either that or that so to answer this uh, example the first thing is knowing the meaning of 0.5% as I said before, if he didn't set any expression, weight per weight or weight per volume or volume per volume, the meaning is weight per volume. So 0.5% here means 0.5 grams per 100 milli of solution. And the injection, the final injection volume is 25 milli. So 25 milli will contain X gram by crisscross as we uh, know it will give 0.125 grams then convert it to milligrams in example 4 he gives us a prescription or a form like prescription this prescription contains potassium permanganate 0.02 percent weight per volume and purified water 250 milli 
so the final volume of the solution is 250 milli and it contains a concentration of 0.25 percent weight per volume in this question he need the number of grams or how many grams of potassium permanganate should be used to compounding or for compounding the following prescription the same thing we must know the first uh, the meaning of 0.2 percent weight per volume which is 0.2 grams per 100 milli of the solution so 250 milli of the solution the required solution <coughs> will contain x grams and then by crisscross we calculate and get the uh, uh, end result which is 0.05 grams another expression which is a proportion which is most uh, pharmaceutical calculations can be performed by this proportion an expression like ppm what is the meaning of ppm ppm means part per million which part and which million the part here expressed by the weight of the solute which is a uh, in milligrams unit and the million is a, a volume of the solution and expressed by liter the unit of volume here is liter so ppm means one milligram of solute dissolved in one liter of solution so if we have five ppm means five milligram of solute dissolved in one liter of solution here uh, the example number one uh, is another example for proportion let us uh, see what he said if a 240 milli of cough syrup contain 480 milligrams of dextromethorphan hydrobromide then what mass of drug is contained in a child dose one teaspoonful in some questions he will don't uh, said how many teaspoonful contains we uh, should know that teaspoonful is five milligram five milliliter of syrup so uh, in many uh, problems or in the exam he will set one teaspoonful and full stop he will not say in, uh, the one teaspoonful is five milliliter so we must know the units very well so in this question the cough syrup volume is 240 milli and this volume the total volume contains 480 milli grams of dextromethorphan so the one teaspoonful five milli the proportion of the drug in this uh, teaspoonful how many grams or how many milligrams it's an easy uh, problem by crisscross we can calculate this and the final result will be 10 milligrams for more information about the course of calculation please contact us on this email and this number Thank you very much.